brought me the trowel so you can get the roots out. These are these grasses, I like these suckers. All this here. And then you want to dent something in the pool and yank it out. Okay, I'm using this hand shovel to dig out the roots of some of these invasives and weeds and things. This is an invasive colonia tree. So I kind of got to the bottom of that and yanked it out. I'm putting it in this bucket for compost. So we're just putting a compost bin here towards the back of the garden. Right now, this time of year is great for composting. We're getting rid of a lot of these dead vines, uh, some invasive different small trees and shrubs that were back here. And this is um, beautiful, beautiful stuff to get as your base for your compost. Dry, dead material, brown material like this brings carbon into the mix. Um, carbon is one of the essential building blocks of all life. And in a compost bin, it's very important to have a high concentrate of carbon. A lot of times, the compost will start to smell, like that ammonia smell. Um, and that means there's too much of the wet nitrogen green material. So if you just put your, your kitchen scraps in here, your eggshells, your coffee, um, banana peels, apple cores, and there's not enough carbon, it's gonna start to smell. So you wanna have a lot of this dry, good, carbonous brown material to kind of uh, tone for the, the green. Some people say as much as an 80 to one ratio carbon to nitrogen, there's different mixtures depending on what you're doing, but um, it gives you a sense of like eight parts to one carbon and nitrogen. So we're getting started with that right now. So here they, we're repurposing a sandbox. They used to use this as a sandbox. So basically we took out the liner, we drilled holes in the bottom for drainage because you never want to have sitting water underneath growing plants. It's really difficult for them to grow. We laid down a layer of kind of like a forest soil that we got over at the center. So just literally just soil from the forest with rocks in it, which helps the drainage. Then we laid in some potting soil, which is kind of this lighter brownish soil here good for just planting, getting stuff started, container, kind of like potting blend. And then we're laying in some biochar here as well, um, just like a, a highly carbonous porous material that helps to really absorb a lot of microbes and helps to like build the, the deeper soil ecology underneath. So just getting a nice blend of different soils um, for different purposes. And that'll help us to just prepare the bed for some growing some vegetables and some other herbs in the springtime. After repurposing these uh, sandbox, is that we're gonna plant red clover. Red clover will be a nice uh, pollinator, as you can see. Bees is one of the insects that will like to be attracted to this uh, little flower. But uh, that's not the whole purpose of planting this over winter seed, is that also it will create more soil. And once established and, uh, and the, the grass is up, we're going to include it in the soil mix as a source of nitrogen. So any vegetable that we decide to put here will grow really nice. Just like planting cilantro, exactly the same technique. Vary in the surface so you can germinate soon. And also this will add a, a ornament a displaying because it's better to have plants, some green starting to grow here than just the brown soil. So this bed, raised bed is ready. So in here we cleaned out a lot of the invasives, a lot of the vines. We cut a lot of the vines on the fence that were crawling up some of these nice shrubs. We have some nice viburnums over here. Um, so we're just really trying to keep the invasives down for now and then just prune back some of the shrubs. Uh, some of the shrubs have like some damage on them like this. So trees and shrubs need a nice clean kind of like wound cut to, to heal over and regrow. So we're just kind of going through like this right here. Maybe like a basketball flew in here and cracked it. 
but that puts the shrub under some st stress and pressure. So just trying to clean up some of those things and help contain a little. This is actually a, a volunteer cherry tree that's growing out of the ground right here. So trying to like balance these two things and see what these folks, if they want the cherry to kind of grow, it'll become a big cherry tree or if they want to let this, this shrub kind of take over. So just trying to balance out and clean up that stuff. But the space is looking really good. We found a lot of mint that was planted in here. It smells delicious still. And then we're going to plant up our flowers in this open bed over here around some of the mint that we found. So making some good progress, looking good. Me too. What's your name? Drew, how you doing? Nice to meet you. What's your name? How you doing? I'm Drew. This is Kelly here. She's an intern. We're from the Schuylkill Center for Environmental Education. Uh, this is Eduardo. And Hello. So basically, we're just kind of prepping this stuff for the springtime. We filled some of the beds over there to grow some vegetables. What kind of vegetables do you all like? Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Cauliflower, yeah. good. What else? Cucumbers. Cucumbers. Corn. What's that? Corn. Corn. Excellent. Carrots. So we actually just said that that bed we filled was actually be a perfect bed for some carrots in springtime. All right. So right now we're just prepping, but we do have some flowers here that we want to plant. We cleared this out. There were some different invasive species. I do want to show you this here. This is actually a mint plant. Oh wow, see? Mint's good. But we just cut the bottoms out of all these vines. So these vines are going to kind of shrivel up and die in the winter. And by spring, this should be an open fence. And you have beautiful sunlight over here. You want to demo the planting, Kelly? Well, don't open the whole thing. Do you do it like two thirds as wide and then just as deep? Yep. So whenever you're planting something, you want to make sure the hole is wider than the, buck the plant in the bucket because the roots are going to grow outward first. So you want a nice loose soil that the plants, the roots can grow outward. Take a look at it first. And then you want the hole to be just as deep as the, as the pot is. You never want air or water underneath the bottom of the root because too much water can flood out the root system. They'll get plenty of water from that nice, dark, brown, nutrient-rich soil. So this looks nice and wide, nice and deep. These are, we're planting here, these are cone flowers. Okay, so they're going to be in the summertime, nice big flowers. They come up this high. We got some purple ones, some greenish and pink ones. And they're pollinators, which means the birds, the bees, and the butterflies will love them. And they'll help to help our vegetables grow over there. You want to make sure that the roots aren't twisted around each other. So if you want to kind of pull them out straight so they can get into the ground nice and good. Pack them nice and tight. And that's it. Oh, no, they're going along. Wow. Wow, that looks great perfect. to me. Perfect. Take the tag out. Yep. All right. And then you Jump can go ahead and down. you can turn this over, okay, and just give it a little poop, poop, little pop, pop. It'll probably come out. If that's, squeeze the bottom a little. There you go. Perfect. Now just lightly with your fingers, break up the roots a little bit because they're, they're used to being in the pot. You won't hurt them. Yep, there you go. Just break them up a little. Very good. And then, yep, and then you can go ahead and pop it in that hole there, nice and straight upright, and then slowly, gently fill the soil in all around it. You don't want to pack it in too tight, but it has to be tight enough so that it's not going to flood out. So yep, you can go ahead and push the soil all around there. What we're doing here is spread and mulch. So this area can retain uh, uh, water, can be moist most of the time. And also when the wood chips is supposed to decompose and be part of the soil, they will add extra nutrients to these trees.
It's getting better. <laughs> <laughs>